Greg from the Countryman's Diary here. I've come out with Dave who's holding the camera for me. And uh, we got the NS200 and a few other toys to have a look through. So what we'll do is I'll fire a few test shots off each just to show you what they're like and what the shooter will see. And what we've got over here is the MV UK spotter set up looking down range at our target. And what I've got is an old road sign with double dots of reflective stickers down there. So that is literally just picking up the IR off the night sight because if I turn it around you can see it will just blend out. So what we're going to do is for the night sight Dave's just going to video straight off the screen and then for the X sight and the photon Dave will use the MV UK spotter and record off that because then he's not interfering with me as shooting as well. So without further ado we'll crack on. This is Greg from The Countryman's Diary. This is the BSA Ultra SE in 2.2 Tactical with the Night Sight NS200 on. Now everybody knows about the camera module and the screen up here and the variable IR. I've got it on full for a minute because what I'm doing is I'm shooting down to a safe backstop at 100 yards. I thought I'd give them all a good test and see what they all perform like at this range. So what we'll do... I've already had a sneaky play with this one and know roughly where it's shooting. And that's how the NS is performing at 100 yards on an air rifle. Hiya, Greg from Countryman's Diary. On my beloved 2.2 Rimfire, I've redone the stock on her, I've got the Nightmaster 400. IR and the Photon XT which I think is a lovely little scope if I had 300 quid in my back pocket it would be in my gun cabinet on this one but unfortunately it's got to go back to Solware who's kindly loaned it to me thank you very much boys and Carl but I'll tell you what this is a cracking little bit of kit myself and Dave just had a shot what do you reckon Dave on the oh, Photon? I reckon it's pretty good it just needs a variable IR it's the standard IR is too bright for the scope itself there you go. And Dave's an old master at shooting. Emphasis on the old. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a lovely rubber eye cup. And there's a very nice crosshairs in there. And what happens is it actually adjusts to where you zero in and then just stays there. So at the moment it's just on the slight right hand side and just above the middle of my sight picture. But you just ignore it and get on shooting with it. But it's an absolutely cracking bit of kit and it's no heavier than a normal good scope on there. So, I'll get down range, and Dave will switch the light off and video on to the end of the commentary. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to focus on the screen of the spotter. Greg's going to put a few rounds down. He's aiming at the right, right hand eyes. eyes that you can see. Oh. Missed. <laughs> post shower Wayne Rubbles, that's called. There you go. Is it showing on the spotter at all or not? Cannot see a thing. Uh -uh. Once, well, he's Once he's finished playing, we'll move down to the target and show you actual uh, points of impact. Well, I've got a very nice crosshair. I've gone for red. And I've got a lovely sight picture which is doing a grand job downrange. Right, this is the 243 with the Excite on. I'm using the Nightmaster IR. And we're going for the left hand side and I'm just literally pivoting on a sandbag. Target again. Very nice. Thank you.